Greetings, miscellaniacs! I'm Funky Monkey, and I'll be your operator as Matrix Month draws to a close. Yes, we followed the fortunes of the one from humble office drone, to saviour of humanity, to its inevitable conclusion and sacrifice. But the story doesn't end there. It doesn't start there either. Yes, across video games, anime, and even a website, and of course the obligatory comic books, the Matrix franchise spread itself across every corner of pop culture. Which brings us to today's subjects. The Matrix Miscellany. <laughs> 2003 was the year of the Matrix, though Path of Neo was released two years later. These tales fill in the gaps in the story, along with necessary world building and interesting side tales. We even get a video game appropriate ending for Path of Neo. So let's jack in one final time and discover the miscellany of the Matrix. The downfall of humanity begins with the trial of B166ER, a robot that killed their master, arguably in self-defense. He wasn't three laws safe. Humanity took this rather badly and exiled all robots to the African desert. And in these deserts, Zero One, the robot nation, was born. Which went about as well as you'd expect, and for exactly the reasons you'd expect. And so we went to war with Zero One, and scorched the sky in our hubris and spite. But in short, the machines won the war, and enslaved us in the Matrix. The machine plot is revealed when the hovercraft Osiris discovers giant machine drills upon the surface directly above Zion. But oh dear, they were spotted. And so crew member Jue must make a last trip into the Matrix to deliver the vital intel. Which is where the story starts in the game Enter the Matrix. Enter the Matrix runs parallel to Matrix Reloaded, fleshing out certain scenes and involving you at pivotal moments in the story. And for those who didn't like the ending of Revolutions, Path of Neo offers the smackdown that you were craving, in a way. Path of Neo is exactly what it says on the tin. The entire tale, as seen from Neo's eyes, but with extra story stuff to fill out to a medium-sized game length. Now, I should mention that in 2006, The Matrix got its own massively multiplayer online game, but it only lasted about three years, and I never played it and I know next to nothing about the storyline. Though in the course of my research, I did learn that it ended in 2009 with some of the story elements unresolved. The rest of the Animatrix features the origin of the Kid character, a tale of a sprinter who woke himself up through willpower alone, a trippy tale of a haunted house, an even trippier sentinel deprogramming experience, a possibly apocryphal tale of Trinity, and a training program that goes a shade too far. So then, with the miscellany out of the way, I present to you the whole entire Matrix franchise. And you know what? I'm gonna put it all, lock, stock, and barrel, into the House of Love. Long before the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the owners of the distinguished competition were doing great things with multimedia. And in my opinion, it really didn't detract from the story. And to this day, we've never really seen its like again. And while the second renaissance was repeated in comic and anime form, it did gain something from being set in motion, I feel. With so much overexposure, backlash was inevitable. Still, we can look back and rediscover the first true multimedia franchise. Neo, I still believe. So thanks for watching. And this concludes Matrix Month. I'll be back very soon for more fun and frolics. So long, folks.